Hello everybody and welcome. I'm here in a different part of my pottery studio. You have seen uh, the, the other room where we do all of the wet, wet work and where we have everything is raw over there. Over here in this place um, there's a rather small building but I have here uh, well, what will be having here is everything that is bisque fired ready for glazing and, uh, <clears throat> and right now I'm actually in the middle of reconstructing my my old kiln if you remember I had a uh, electric kiln that I converted to run from uh, from gas from weed burners in fact like this so that's what I'm about really right now today is 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 trying to piece together my kiln of course kilns don't like being moved do they uh, especially one like this so I've got to reconstruct it and I'll just bring the camera a bit closer and we can talk about that uh, briefly. So yeah you can see the the kiln pieces here, the lid, there's a, here's a lid. In fact this is really a couple a couple of scut kilns, old ones that I acquired for peanuts <laughs> or very little let's say. And uh, so yeah, I'm starting. I'm starting here on the floor. So, so what I did down here was I, because I was dealing with uh, with uh, a concrete floor here in this building, which is not very flat. So what I did was I put a, I made a little concrete plinth, just sort of like half an inch in in depth. And I made sure that that was level. And then on top of that lint, that that plinth, I have been putting some. Uh, this is ceramic fiber that I have. Uh, this is not blanket. This is like a soft board, and I'm using that. Then on top of that plinth. Now on top of that, I then put. I put this, um, I guess it's a, like, a, like a paving slab I put. <clears throat> this is just to raise it up a little bit. And now I'm going to add again another layer of uh, ceramic fiber. So let's just get down there. I'll just zoom in a touch. Um, So, <clears throat> hi Sheena, what's going on? Whenever I, whenever I have to work with uh, ceramic fibre, I like to wear a mask, okay? Because... So all I'm going to do now is just going to cut up some squares to put here, and then we're going to put the base of the kiln on here. So put that there.
take my mask off, put my hat back on. <laughs> so, yeah, this this ceramic fiber is quite is quite good to work with because, as you can see, I can cut it into squares like this. So I place the ceramic fiber like you see me doing here. There's no particular rhyme or reason why I am doing it like this. I am just doing it like this because that's how I feel like doing it. Just it's going to let a bit of air through, you see. And uh, so what I need to do now next is put, and I've got them. Let's take the camera off the tripod a minute. So just give you a closer look at that, so you can see there. Now you may ask, well why are you putting a ceramic fibre down there Simon? Well the reason I'm putting the ceramic fibre down there is that I, don't, I, want to, I want to lift the kiln off the floor and I don't want the floor, the heat, to be like the floor, you know, to be a heat suck, to suck the heat out of the kiln. So it's actually important to insulate the bottom of your kilns. Um, if you can. So now I've got to find the. Uh, it's an array of a lot of stuff in here, isn't there? I've got to sort out. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, look. Oh, there they are. They're behind there. Those are the pieces I need. In fact, that's the piece I need there. So. Um, I'll get that guy out and then I'm going to drop him down on top of that and um, while we're here talking about this I'll, I'll continue this with you in a bit um, once I've probably got the base down on top of that but I just wanted to show you that foundation what, what we've got going on there before I put that the base down let's just uh, what else can we look at here that might be helpful uh, you can see there, this is the same chimney arrangement that I had. Ooh. Hang on, let me just drop that down. So this, you can see what I've done here. I've cut a hole here in the side of this building. And, um, and then this is, this is the chimney, which I then pull, you see. Oops. Now this, this is going to situate itself right over the kiln, you see, like that. And then that bit of wire there, I'll, I'll hitch up there to the ceiling to hold it. What I like about this system is that while I'm firing, I have this located, you see, right up on, top of the, on top of the chimney. And um, while I'm firing, and then when I finish firing, I unhook it. push it back out of the window you see and um, there it is let's go outside and I'll just quickly show you beautiful day today I think it's July July 30th and uh, we started off kind of misty this morning and foggy but the fog has cleared and it's, it's turned out to be a beautiful day. So there you can see that pipe. Well, that's, a, that's not how it is really, because it's that's how it is when I'm not using it, but that, go, that goes back inside, you see. So, but over here I've got my gas bottle and I've got this, um, this pipe that goes through, goes in there and then here, it's important to have a I haven't I haven't tightened this up all yet but you can see here I've got a a regulator on top of the this is a I think it's 0 to 60 pounds that this will regulate to so that's something you've got to have you don't want to have a gas bottle inside with your kiln you want to have it outside and you need a regulator so you step down that pressure uh, before you come into the 
to where the burners are. And then, dee, 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 there, there you see it there. You see coming, it's coming through here. And I've got a T piece there, as you see, which then goes to two, two of these of these weed burners which we're going to use to fire this kiln. So as you can see I've got some pots up here that are waiting to uh, to be fired plus a whole whole lot of other pots scattered around here. So let's pop that back on the tripod. Anyway just wanted to just wanted to show you that so you, you can see where I'm at and um, we're going to continue. I'm going to continue now with this, the bottom of the kiln, and placing that that bottom piece there. And then we're going to build up those the sections, and um, we'll we'll come back as we do that. So meanwhile, <laughs> please go to my website simonleachpottery.com and uh, see there we have. Uh, I've got three leech treadle wheels for sale plus a whole host of different kinds of tools, uh, t-shirts, etc. We offer workshops here and we do have, uh, we do have some workshop, uh, workshops coming up in the next few months. Go to my website there to the workshops page, you can see that. And it should say how many spaces are available. So yeah, write to me or inquire. Um, and come along, join us for a Keep Practicing workshop. Hey, we all need to practice. <laughs> I'll see you. See you soon. Bye-bye.